Hello, Noreno Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin. And I'm here to talk to you today about speech recognition, or as I also like to call it, you talk your computer types. Speech recognition uh, is formally known as uh, automatic speech recognition or continuous speech recognition. And what we mean by that is you can talk naturally today and the computer or the device will capture your speech and turn it into text or to run controls on your desktop computer in many instances. Now for those of you that may have tried speech recognition back before 2005, back in the dark ages of speech recognition as I like to call it, many of you may have become frustrated and given it up. Uh, in the early iterations of speech recognition, uh, you needed to speak distinctly with a pause between each word, which is absolutely unnatural. Uh, it also required hours of training. Uh, it required a lot of computer processing power. And quite honestly, for most people, it was just too much to do to gain the small benefit that it presented at that time. That's not the case anymore. Speech recognition is now a mature technology. Uh, in fact, it's so mature that both Microsoft and Apple now include speech recognition capabilities in their desktop operating systems. Windows includes it in Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, Mac for sure in uh, OS X Mountain Lion. Um, they include features and functionality that are somewhat limited to the third-party product that's available, but it still provides you with a great way to dip your toes in the water, so to speak, of speech recognition to learn how to control your computer and even dictate documents and put information into other programs such as Outlook or into a note uh, that you would otherwise have to type using a variety of speech input methods. When it comes to what I call full-blown speech recognition, today there's really only one player in the market and that is Nuance Communications. Over the years, the other companies have either fallen out of the market or their products were bought by Nuance. Nuance makes two products. Uh, for the Windows platform, Dragon Naturally Speaking, and its current version is 12. On the Mac, uh, it is Dragon Dictate, and they're up to version 3. These are the two primary products for each platform. Really, there are no other players that are worth discussing at this time. Um, they both work very similarly. However, in this instance, the Windows platform is actually more seamless more user-friendly and more functional than that available for Mountain Lion uh, and, the, and the Mac OS um, in general. Uh, it, it recognizes distinct speech, it recognizes continuous speech, it will automatically insert punctuation, it is more intuitive to use. That's where the focus of Nuance has always been. They're late to the Mac market, they bought another company. Uh, they're bringing that functionality over. If you're on the Mac, by all means, use Dragon Dictate. But if you're used to using Dragon Ashley Speaking, uh, you're going to be a bit disappointed in the capability as it is just not quite as user friendly. With it being a more mature product, uh, some of the improvements now include the ability to dictate uh, into your computer uh, with more than a simple wired headset. For those of you that remember back, you always had to have a headset. It had to be plugged into your computer. Uh, you look like an air traffic controller. That is no longer the case. We now have more options when it comes to uh, getting our speech into the computer. We can now use USB desktop microphones we can use wireless Bluetooth headsets that will connect to the computer and we don't have to be wired. We can use wired or wireless handheld microphones. We can use digital portable recorders. We can even now use our smart devices uh, with an application like Dragon Dictate or Dragon Microphone that will allow us to connect over a wireless network to our computer and use our portable device, our, our uh, iPhone and our Android smartphone to use that as a microphone to uh, talk to Dragon. The portable devices aren't to be overlooked either. Uh, iPad, Dragon has Dragon Dictation for the iPad. Wonderful product, works very much like the desktop product. The one caveat is you need to be connected to a wireless network to work. For the simple fact is the iPad simply doesn't have enough processing power to perform the speech recognition, so they connect wirelessly to the internet to their servers. You talk, it types. This is a demonstration of Dragon Dictation on an iPad 4 with Retina display for Inside Track for the State Bar of Wisconsin. There are also apps for Android, although nothing the equivalent of Dragon Dictation. That is still uh, the best 
of the portable device products available, and that's on the iPad and iPhone. Uh, however, you do have um, Drag and Go and others that will allow you to ask questions of your phone and get information, very much like Siri. Um, on your desktop, you can use speech recognition to open and close apps, to dictate documents, uh, make corrections, add information and punctuation. You can also navigate your computer, navigate the web. You can do all of these things. So if you haven't tried speech recognition lately, take a look and use the built-in capabilities that may exist already on your desktop or laptop computer in Windows or Mac. Uh, if you think you like it, then you may want to take a look at the Dragon products. Um, for Windows, there's Home, Premium, and Professional. The Home version, I recommend you don't even look at it. It's very limited in its capabilities. Um, Premium gives you the same speech recognition engine as the professional version and many of the other capabilities. The biggest difference is you can't save the speech file when you save the document. So in other words, you can't go back at a later time, listen to your words, and see if there was a mistake made or let someone else listen to it and follow along and then also correct it like an assistant or secretary. Um, professional ads that has those features plus uh, the ability to create custom commands uh, and even more and the legal version also allows you to use it with a foot pedal and to allow uh, up to two other parties to download a copy of the software and use it for transcription purposes. In other words, to follow along within the document listening to your voice uh, to ensure that everything is correct. So take a look at speech recognition. It is a technology that is absolutely mature, ready for prime time and for those of you that might be typing challenge like myself, it can be a great time saver uh, and save a lot of hunt and peck typing. This is Naruto Petro. Until next time, thanks.